Well, we are live here at the dirt track at Charlotte Motor Speedway doing some pre-race interviews. Sitting here with one of the posse members, Brock Zierfoss. Brock, thanks for coming down to Charlotte. Yeah, it's uh, always a good race to come to. Uh, you know, we really enjoy coming down here and racing. Uh, you know, the atmosphere down here is pretty sweet. So, um, you know, it's just going to have some fun. Now, we don't have many tracks like this back home. I mean, we have red clay, but this kind of track is like a bowl. Uh, what has to be going through your mind for a time trial night tonight? Uh, it's the biggest night tonight. Uh, it's also the shortest night for us, but, um, you know, we just got to lay down two good laps, uh, make four good laps, actually. So, um, you know, it's just a lot of focus on tonight, and that's going to set our whole weekend. So, um, you know, the track's kind of similar to Eldora. We raced there earlier, or just a couple weeks ago, and, um, you know, just we got a good little package here. We raced here three years, and this will be our third year here. So, um, you know, we got something that we know what's going on, and, you know, we've been pretty fast down here and just – need a little bit of luck so hopefully uh, we got the luck tonight and can put the car up front I tell you what uh, this is a pretty cool format you're gonna do both your time trial nights in one night and then you're gonna race for all the money the next two what do you think of this format should we have more of these uh, like when we run big shows out of PA run nothing but time trials in one night then uh, two heat races and everything else the next um, I don't know it's definitely a different uh, different format unique for sure um, I don't know if it'd be good for at home um, but you know, it's definitely a long, drawn-out night. I've, if it was just time trials for everybody here, um, you know, obviously they got the modifieds and the late miles running heat races, or it might just be modifieds. I'm not sure, but um, you know, it obviously gives a little more racing for the fans. But uh, you know, it definitely would be a long, boring night if it was just time trials for everybody. But you know, it's definitely unique for us. Um, you know, it's important for us with, with the way the cars are so equal. And um, you know, we just gotta just focus on tonight, get good laps, and um, you know, that'll that'll carry on into the next two days. Well, we wish you luck here tonight. Hopefully, we'll talk to you later for setting fast time. Yeah, hopefully. Huh? We'll see what happens. We got a pretty good car, so um, hopefully we get her doubt in. Ladies and gentlemen, one of our own, Brock Zierfoss. Still roaming the pit area here at the dirt track at Charlotte Motor Speedway with one of our own, Brent Marks. Brent, thanks for taking some time. Yeah, thanks for having me on. New paint scheme, new number. Can you give the story on that? Yeah, you know, uh, it's, our, it's from our sponsor, um, m, &M. Uh, construction and painting from San Antonio, Texas. Uh, he uh, races late models himself, so he's running down here with the World of Outlaw late models, and uh, he's planning on retiring from racing at the end of this this season. He will continue to sponsor us in 2017, but uh, he's given up the driving duties in, in his own deal. So um, these will be his last two races, and we wanted to run his number yep. on our car to uh, kind of honor him and his career. Um, that's what this whole deal was kind of brought up on, so we wanted to do a special paint scheme for him as well. I tell you what, the World Finals, there's no better way to end the dirt track racing season than come down here at Charlotte. Yeah, it's, it's always an, uh, um, an awesome atmosphere, um, and we have awesome weather this year. So it's just uh, it's a really good deal that they have going on for everybody down here. Bring three major series together, uh, bring all, of, all the fans together, and um, you know it's just really cool. It's really cool to be a part of, and I'm really happy that we can be down here to be a part of, of uh, such an amazing event. Now, tonight's time trial night. The next two nights, you know, you're going to go balls to the wall and go heat race. Do you like this format? You know, should we do this at home? Do all the qualifying on one night, then the next couple of nights do nothing but heat racing? Uh, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, it's kind of a long day for us. You know, we're just kind of sitting around all day to do four laps tonight. <laughs> yeah. um, so, you know, I, I love that. I wish they had three races for us. We'd just go out there and race tonight, even if, you know, for a five grand win show. I don't care. I just, you know, I want to race. So, you know, I think they were going to make three days out of it, you know, just add in a race for, for us. But, um, you know, it kind of have to accept it. You know, I, I like it. You know, at least we don't have to deal with time trials tomorrow night or Saturday. And uh, it does kind of make it nice, you know, in that sense. But, um, you know, I wish we, we did have a race tonight. So, you know, we'll just be, you know, we'll just be twiddling on our thumbs for a while, you know, waiting to get out there to, to uh, put our two laps down. Now, there's a lot of rumors going around about a lot of drivers back home for the 2017 season. Are you able to uh, give us a little insight for what next season looks like for you? No, I don't have nothing set in stone next year. Um, you know, uh, most likely going to be my own car again. Um, you know, I'm going to have uh, uh, BAPS and uh, m, m back on board for me next year as our primary sponsors. And uh, still have to uh, put together um, our other sponsors on our car and uh, make sure that they're going to come back for, with, with us again next year. And, um, you know, uh, I would like to do a little bit more than what we're doing this year. But, you know, we have a few months here to figure that out. And um have to do have a have, have to have a couple meetings yet so um we're, we're gonna see what happens next year so uh, i'm hoping to have an announcement here soon about what's going on well that's next year let's focus on the night good luck thank you appreciate it brent marks still roaming the pit area here at the dirt track at charlotte motor speedway with a posse member greg honnett greg thanks for taking some time 
Yeah, no problem. Glad you guys got to make it down and hopefully have a good weekend. Now, I was talking to some of the boys from home that came down make the trip down here. Pretty cool to see that we have a good contingency of drivers from Pennsylvania here this year. Um, but I was asking them, is tonight one of those stressful nights that you have out of the whole weekend since tonight's time trial night? Yeah, this uh, because qualifying is so important in this format, it is, it, it's stressful in one way, but at least then you know what you got for the rest of the weekend. The problem, the one of, not a problem, the one of the challenges we have is because there's not a lot of time between the first set of hot, or hot well, between hot laps and the first mm -hmm. set of qualifying and then the second set of qualifying. So if there's anything that you would like to, say, work on, change, uh, if there's a problem, there's not a lot of time to do those types of things. So that's, that's one of the things that, that I, I don't, really like about mm -hmm. this particular format, mm -hmm. but it's the same for everybody. Yeah. So the really imperative part is to be spot on when you first hit the racetrack because there's not a lot of time and opportunities to do any adjustments. So that's that's one of the most nerve wracking things about this evening. But uh, if we can maybe unload decent speed, uh, feel comfortable and like get lucky <laughs> or whatever uh, to get a decent qualifying that's obviously going to be a really important the field down here I mean I've been coming down since day one and, and the sprint car field gets better and better each and every year this is a pretty cool way to end the dirt track season yeah it's really neat uh, it's neat because we don't obviously we race every weekend we don't get to see the best late model drivers in the country or to get to see the best dirt modifieds in the country so it's kind of a this is kind of a, uh, we get a little spoiled yeah. because we not only we get to race a great venue mm -hmm. in front of great fans, mm -hmm. uh, it's always packed, it's always sold out. And you add on top of that, I get to watch Bloomquist and Richards <laughs> and Rick Hecker yeah. and, and, you know, all these guys that, that I don't get to see race. And even Donnie Schatz and his, his uh, late model. I don't get to see that uh, because we're always so busy. And then the Dirt Modified, you know, you got the Hearns. And it, it's, just a, it's just a really big event with the best of the best of the best of all the classes and uh it's just nice to be a part of well we're happy that you made the trip hopefully you can make the posse proud and hopefully we can talk to you later tonight for set fast time god i hope so man <laughs> thank you ladies and gentlemen greg hotnet